Oh, so we are back Tuesday, and we have a nice laptop to fix here. Yeah, this is a MSI GA66 Stealth i7 10 Gen NVIDIA RTX, and we have a 240 hertz display. It's a new one. Okay, the problem with this one. No power. Okay, so this was booked in like that laptop. Pressing the power button. Nothing happened. Now let's plug the charger, okay? But first, let's check the charger. Now the charger here is a normal round pin charger. Minus, plus. So check on the screen, yeah? On the multimeter on the screen is 20 volts. The charger is good. Now let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger. The charger is plugged in. Pressing the power button. And nothing happened. I don't know if it's supposed to be a light here, but it's not. Let's see. I mean, the laptop is dead. It's just dead. Okay, let's try to fix it because this will be interesting. Curious to see how the new laptops are inside. <coughs> I haven't opened the laptop, so I don't know nothing about. It has a factory seal. Oh, yeah, and the, the seal is not broken. <laughs> so, no one opened this laptop actually. Well, let's take the screws out. Hold on, the old left is the one with the seal. Let's break the seal. Now let's open the back cover. I mean, it's kind of, you know, why you'll put a seal? Maybe I want to upgrade my memory, maybe the hard drive, who knows? I mean, you should not stop someone access on a gaming laptop. Maybe I want to clean uh, the fans. Wow, proper nice. You actually have three fans. <clears throat> this is nice. A sixteen gig total memory M two hard drive Oh this is nice. Okay, so what do we check first? You see here we have the charging port. I don't know if you can see it. See it here? We have minus and plus. Minus and plus. Let's come with the power supply. The voltage. 19 volts, around 2 amps. Yeah? Minus, plus. And check if the laptop is taking any power. It's very important. It can take nothing or can be shorter. And check on the power supply. 1.6 amps, because that's the limit. 
and the voltage is getting dropped to like 2 volts so the motherboard it is shorted unexpected on a new laptop now let's take out the battery it's not good to work with the battery inside you know with voltage which I'm applying from the power supply I can control it I can set up a limit but not the battery the battery it will push how much is the limit set up on the electronic board there is like 4 amps limit it will push 4 amps <laughs> Okay, the next step to identify the problem is to think if it's an issue, where is the issue? Well, this has a 240Hz display, so it's a gaming laptop, it's a lot of pressure against the, again, uh, around the processor and around the graphic chip, yeah? That's the reason why they have big heatsinks. If they have big heatsinks, also they have uh, big power supplies. Now, like always, we have to identify the main power supply. Uh, I was thinking it's okay, it's nothing. How we can identify the power supply, the main power rail? Because the charging port is going on the other side of the board. That's a good question. It's a very high probability. Actually, we have uh, a shorted MOSFET, most likely, on a job like this. Or, in the best case scenario, it's a shorted capacitor. So let's take out the hissings. Yeah. Now the fans. Okay. Now let's show I take out the heat sink. Let's be sure we are unplugging the fans. I believe those are digital fans. Wow, look at that. Now, I'm pretty sure no one opened this laptop because... Uh, we had a seal, you remember? So probably that's how it's from the factory. Now I can't see any liquid damage. Hmm. Okay, so we are starting from where? You know where we should start? Clearly, you can see the coils, yeah? And clearly, you can see those capacitors, yeah? Electrolytic capacitors. And here, electrolytic capacitors. And I believe that's our main power rail, but we can check. Let's switch to that mode. Plus, we plus zero and we ground zero see clearly here is a short okay let me check with a different power supply just to be sure this is our main power rail
zero zero okay so that's shorted also what about this this is zero and obviously ground is zero this is shorted also so i believe the main power rail is uh, connected to those capacitors and also with those capacitors from here yeah let's see zero okay so we found we they identified the power rail the main power rail now all what we have to do yeah I mean, we can clearly see here, we have the coil, we have the driver with the MOSFETs, so the MOSFETs are inside of the drivers, and then we have those capacitors, which probably are on the main power rail, like we already checked that, yeah? Even those ceramic capacitors probably are on the same main power, main power rail, but we can check. Yeah, it's zero, you can see on the screen, short. But that doesn't mean the capacitor are shorter. Okay, so let's come with the power supply. Let's lower the voltage because we don't know where we are pushing this uh, current. Okay, ground. Okay. Sorry? Uh... Lorina, but I don't know where it is. Okay. And we are coming with plus. Like either here, either here, doesn't matter. Okay. So you can see on the screen it's shorted. It's taking 2 amps because that's the limit. And the voltage will get dropped down to 0 0.8. Now all what we have to do... We have to use our skill, <laughs> skill and skin, to find out what actually is getting warm here. Because you have a lot of power supplies. And yeah, nothing. The resistance is, is too low, so let's raise the current. 3.5 volt, 3.5 amps. It's still nothing, I can't feel anything. Let's raise the current, 4 amps. Four amps, it's a lot of current. My question right now here is, we are pushing this current into the graphics, or the processor? I can't feel anything. Where this current is going? I mean, you know, it's 4 amps, it's not like 1 amp. Where this current is going? Any idea? Anyone knows? Okay, let's push 5 amps. 5 amps. I swear I can feel the graphic chip getting warm.
Thermal camera will be great. Yeah. I don't know why it's feeling warm here. Why is feeling warm around the screen connector? Hmm? Give me one second. Let's unplug the screen connector. Look how the screen cable is looking those days. Okay, let's go with the power supply again. Minus. Plus. Okay, forgot I forget everything I said. I made a mistake. So actually, I was pushing current here, and here is ground. I mean, nothing wrong can happen if you push current to the ground. But uh, actually, we done it wrong, yeah. So let's reset everything let's go back with the power supply to 2 amps yeah and let's push current onto the plus of the capacitor not onto the minus and yeah even on the plus of the capacitor it's taking like okay let's raise the current let's raise the current to 2 amps 2 amps we have like 1 volt and let's again start and try to find I can't feel anything. Let's raise the current three amps, three, four amps. 4 amps Wow, here's something Yeah, you? Something here, yeah. Let's use some, uh, yeah. Uh, morning, give me a second. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, let's go together. Let's use some alcohol here. Possible we, we, to be lucky, you know, maybe it's just a capacitor. 
Let's use some alcohol here. And I'll check under the microscope. Okay, so I will come with the voltage. And let's see what's going on there. Power on, off. On, off. You can see the movement. I don't know if you can see it. So check there on the capacitor. On, off. So you can see that capacitor even go dry quickly. Hmm? Wow. This was simple. This was simple. Okay, let's take the screw out. Let's try and take those plastic thingy out. Because most likely they will be melted. Hot air machine. Now let's try and take out that capacitor. Yeah? Okay. So we took out the capacitor. Now let's check for short again the power supply. Okay. Ground plus no short anymore. But that was the issue. I mean, we can check with the with the multimeter on the capacitor place plus minus. There's no short. Okay, before we are doing a good job. I mean, like uh, you know, if we open the laptop, you know, clean the dust from fans, replace the thermal paste. Before that, before that, let's be sure it's working. Let's be sure it's working. Fan, this fan, just for uh, just for testing, yeah, just for testing. Few screws. Just for testing. That's fine. Let's plug the battery. Charger. Let's plug the charger. We plug the charger. Now is the moment. Let's press the power button. And you have light on the power button. You can see orange light. 
The fans are spinning, at least one fan is spinning. And we have picture on the screen. Actually the problem is solved. And the laptop is working fine. But that was the problem. You see in this case, and I was about to swear it's a MOSFET fault because it's a lot of pressure on MOSFETs, not an electrolytic capacitor. I don't ever think on this channel we found an electrolytic capacitor shorted. Actually, it's an electrolytic capacitor, it's not a ceramic one, multi layer. Why the fans are not spinning? Probably they are spinning only on the graphic chip. Here you see are spinning. Only on the graphics is getting uh, warm. And probably the graphics got too warm and the laptop shut down. Or not. Yeah, probably. Probably that happened. Because I didn't put the screws, all screws here. Yeah. You can see all fans are spinning. Yeah. Okay, I will uh, I will shut down the laptop. Because we need to sort the things out with the heatsink. Clean it, replace the thermal paste, everything. And then the job is done. We just, you know, the video is about how you approach a repair like this. I mean, usually, okay, let's follow the power rail. But because here, we know we have a lot of power supplies around processor and graphics. It's not really point following the power rail, you know, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, when we know we have a lot of power supplies, and all the power supplies are getting faded from the main power rail. Okay, so I will stop this video. Just an easy repair, easy and pleasant repair. Actually, was not a MOSFET, was the capacitor, an electrolytic capacitor. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.